So hello everyone again, um, this is Stephen Wong again and today we are looking at part 2 of my desktop automation mini tutorial. So we'll start UI Vision um, and if you remember from part 1 we created this launch handbrake script to launch the handbrake application. Um, we looked at you know checking if it's running on a Mac and if it is um, you know we'll, we'll you know treat it differently and in the end we actually closed up the application. So what I want to do today is to duplicate the script and to make some changes to it to do more stuff with it. So, so let's duplicate it and we'll call it handbrake one input file as you can see there. Okay, and what we want to do now is to remove uh, a lot of the steps um, that we've done. Um, any step after the cancel because today we want to we do not want to close off the application after we started it we do want to add some files for handbrake to process so we delete all the steps post uh, the cancel button so let's play it back and see where the script ends okay so the script runs now we're looking at finding the cancel button using the OCR technology. And as per our previous experience, OCR is a bit slow, uh, but indeed, indeed it found the OCR button and clicked it. So today what we want to do is we want to click on the open source button. After we click the cancel, we want to click on the open source uh, to add a file for Handbrake to process. And to do that, we got to uh, turn on desktop automation um, feature in the settings screen as you see here. Okay, and you have to see that desktop mode active. And the reason why I want to do that is because we're going to instruct uh, UI Vision to look for that button that we saw earlier. Okay, so using the same command X click, instead of OCR, we can use that select button there to take a screenshot of the screen and then using UI vision we're going to tell UI vision to look for this open source button that we wanted to click when we play back the script or the macro okay so we identify that button and we give it a name so we just call it open source button okay and now we can see that we have an x click command that will look for that open source button um, when we replay that script okay so we'll quit the application and let's save the script and let's run it again Okay, Handbrake opens, it takes a while to find the OCR button because we are, uh, the cancel button because we are using OCR technology. And for OCR technology, uh, UI Vision leverages uh, some service on the internet. Um, and you can see it takes 20 seconds, wow, just to look for that button, it's a bit slow. Okay, but post that, you can you see that it actually clicks on that button. And this image recognition approach, it's actually quite fast, as you can see. Okay. So what I want to do next is use that same technology for the cancel button because OCR is actually quite slow. And you also have a limited number of times that you can call it in a day if you're using the free version of UI Vision. So what we're gonna do is use the same capability. Take a screenshot using UI Vision. Look for that cancel button. Okay, and select it instead. Okay, give it a name. We'll call it cancel button. Okay. 
from that, now we have a step that takes the image recognition approach instead of the OCR approach. And it does seem to work faster. Let's see how that works uh, when we actually run the script, okay? Okay, so let's play it back. Notice now it opens up, brings it to the forefront, clicks on the cancel button much quicker than uh, when we were using OCR because OCR takes a while. So what we want to do next is to complete uh, the macro to add more steps to UI vision to select a video in handbrake and process it. Yeah. So what I'm doing here is you can see is I've kind of commenting a line. I've create I'm creating a comment. Um, and if you are reading my blog, this is supposed to be a tutorial exercise. So, um, and if you've done the, your, the, the exercise and you're coming here to check, um, let's see how you go. Okay, so for a first, first step, um, I'm doing an X click again. Um, and what I'm doing is I'm going to use UI vision to click on the work area folder. Uh, that you've seen that I've added to the site panel. Now, um, when you're doing automation, it's always good to you know create an environment that doesn't change much, so that your automation script uh, know exactly you know where to go to look for you know things to click on. So in this case, I've created the work area folder. I put it at the you know at, at the site panel, so that UI Vision when the script runs, it's it, it can it can find it and and click on it. After clicking on the work area, um, I want to click on the handbrake input folder that is located within the work area folder as well. So all the videos that I'm going to process, I'm going to put it into this handbrake input folder so that when I replay back the script, um, you know, UI Vision will be able to access that file. No matter what file it is that I want to uh, handbrake to process, um, I put it in the handbrake input folder that's located within the work area folder. And now I'm scripting uh, uh, UI Vision to click on the work area, click on handbrake input, and to look for the first video. Now, the name of the videos can be different. While I'm doing this macro now, is is this file called uh, zero one dash little lands dot mp4. Now I want to be able to change that, right? So, uh, you know, so I'm using OCR here because if I use image recognition, if the file name changes, then, um, then the script will fail. Yeah. Um, so what I want to do is to use OCR technology here instead, although it's a bit slow, but it gives me the flexibility of changing the name of the file. Okay. So, um, yeah, so I've added that step and after clicking on that file, um, then what I want to do is to click on the open button, right? So when I've selected the file, I want to open the button. Uh, click on the open button. It so happens that I already have an open button um, in my library uh, that UI Vision could be looking for, as you can see there. So I don't have to recapture the screenshot again. I can reuse this image of an open button um, and you reuse it in my script here. In my macro, sorry. <clears throat> so I use the word script and macro interchangeably. Uh, because traditionally in, in automation, we call it a script. Okay, so we have done the script now, uh, the, the macro now, um, and we are playing it back. So as you can see, we run, we bring handbrake to the front, um, we look for the cancel button, we click from it, we look, we're looking for the open source button, and now we're looking for work area. Yep, you can see it jump there looking for handbrake input, you can see it jump there. And now OCR will kick in to look for little lambs.mp4. Okay, so you see OCR progress has started. Oh, but the macro encountered an error. Um, 
Hmm, let's look at the logs. So whenever we, fit, we, we run a uh, macro and something happens, we always need to look at the log. And it seems that OCR could not find um, uh, that name, unfortunately. So for some reason it didn't work, but let's, let's see if we can have another way um, around it. So what we're doing now is I created a copy of that step. I've commented out the OCR step since it's not working. But I'm going to use the xType command. Okay, and xType command I'm going to use is, if you remember last week, xType is to set in a keyboard command, a keystroke. Okay, and I'm going to send in the key right keystroke. So I'm going to press the right arrow key. Okay, so instead of selecting little lambs, I'm going to sell, I'm just going to press the right arrow key. And why do I do that? Because I know I'm always going to be processing the first file. So once I'm at the handbrake input and I press the right arrow, it will select that first file. So no matter the name. So even, even uh, if the name changes, um, it doesn't matter. So I'm always going to be selecting that first file. So let's see how that work, script works here. Same thing, um, you can see, yeah, um, handbrake opening, clicking the cancel button, clicking the open source button, clicking work area, clicking handbrake input and pressing the right key, as you can see there. Okay, and clicking the open button. So you can see now I've automated uh, UI vision to open up my first file in the handbrake input folder. Yeah, and what else do I want to do next to finish off this macro is to click on the start process button. So once I've selected the file, um, there is that green start button there, as you can see. And now what I want to do is to instruct uh, UI vision to automatically click that button um, on the screen. Okay, and we give the button a name. As you know, these buttons, you know, once we've added it once into our libraries, we can always reuse the same uh, button. So we don't really have to keep capturing screenshots uh, as we build up our library of uh, screen components. Okay, so save that. Okay, so, yep, so let's see how the script runs now. Okay, on the macro. <laughs> okay, so it selects there, opens up handbrake, clicks on the cancel button, um, clicks on the open source button. Now it will look for the work area. And now it looks for the handbrake input folder, press the right key and clicks on the open and now it clicks on the green start button and there you go so i have uh, today we have created the uh, macro to add the file um, into handbrake and then you know uh, um, click on the start button to process it uh, and if you notice um, you know what we did was we created a work area folder Within the work area folder, there's a handbrake input folder. Uh, and I would place all the files that I want processed um, into that handbrake input folder so that you know when 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 uh, UI Vision selects that folder and presses the right key, it will always get that first file. Um, now we're gonna continue on building on this uh, macro in more tutorials coming up uh, soon. So for that's it for today. Um, thank you very much for, for watching. If you uh, have any comments, as usual, please leave them in the section below. Um, and uh, please visit my blog as well to, to, to get more information. Thank you. See you next time. Bye.